guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rem and today I am going to be looking at the first photo ever taken of a black hole. Wow, this is it. I just get goosebumps just by saying that. But anyway, for you guys who don't understand why I'm getting goosebumps, let me first tell you what a black hole is. So a black hole is a region of space that is that where the gravitational force is so intense that not even light can escape. And I think you know this all from kindergarten, so I'm not going to go into so much detail with that, but okay, maybe I should still, but like, feel free to skip this part if you think I'm like, this is too easy. But anyway, a black hole has an event horizon and the event horizon is basically the, um, kind of like the perimeter of a black hole. And it is the part where it's the point of no return, basically. So, so in simple terms, you can, you can kind of imagine like you have, you have like a very quiet lake and then you have like this this like vortex of water that is like maybe a giant hole that just goes down and and the the event horizon is basically the point where the fishes cannot swim out of the hole and they they're going to get stuck in the hole so that's that's what black holes are and and it's so it's so significant because the speed of light is the speed limit of the universe so it's not like the speed limit of a highway you can technically go over the speed limit even though you're going to get a ticket but the speed limit of the universe is so sacred that Nobody can go over the speed of light or you, you just wouldn't be like, yeah, you, you just can't, you just can't go over the speed of light. And I guess not even in a quantum, in a quantum way. So that's how significant it is. Like you physically cannot go over the speed of light. And um, yeah, so, so this problem is very significant in physics because, because black hole is such an extreme region of space as I would have ex expressed before, that even the laws of physics must break down. Like, they have no choice, but they have to break down. And maybe some of you would have heard of the firewall paradox or the, um, the menu from hell, because we have the firewall paradox is basically, that's one true paradox. There's not many real paradoxes in the world. Okay, I guess it's not a true paradox. Like, it's just like something that we haven't figured out yet. But it, it definitely is one of the most significant things that are ever called paradox. Like it's so much more, so much cooler than the Monty Hall paradox. If you don't know what that is, search it up. It's really fun. So in the firewall paradox, you have three very important physics laws that we hold very dear, but they cannot all be right. And these three physics laws are not too difficult. You can search them up. The three physics laws are the equivalence principle, locality, and the conservation of information. So come on, just like think of those, like which one could be, could be wrong? Cause they're all like, they're all very basic physics laws that we live by or I live by. And yeah, okay, they may sound a bit fancy, but let me just explain one of those. I think the easiest to explain is the equivalence principle because we encounter that every day. And honestly, I think that still holds true in, in the event horizon of a black hole. I, I personally think that that one is correct without a doubt, but it's just my gut feeling, so I, I have no idea. Anyway, the equivalence principle is what you feel when the elevator accelerates upwards and then you feel a force downwards. So it basically says that <clears throat> um, that acceleration could could feel like gravity to someone who is like inside like this closed space, which is like the elevator cart. Or it could also explain like when you're when you're in a car crash. Or when, you, when your car ever crashes into something, I hope you're never in a car crash, but if your car ever crashes into something and then you suddenly like feel this force that, you know, you just go like that, like you just, you know, you just like fall towards your front. So when, you're, when your car like crashes into something, you, you fall to the front and that is because the car suddenly decelerates or accelerates backwards so that you would like just like fall to the front. So that, that's, that's what it is. And at the event horizon of a black hole, the three, these three laws, these three very important laws cannot all hold right. And then there's like a bunch of like thought experiments that are done with Hawking particles, you know, stuff you learn when you're in, in kindergarten. No, I'm just kidding. Not in kindergarten. If you're like a very curious child in kindergarten, maybe. So, um, yeah. And this, this photo is going to be very, 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 very difficult to take. So imagine you have a photo of a printed document. Let me see if I can get one here. Okay, so you have a photo of a printed document. I have some of my mechanics notes here. So, okay, look at this. Let me find like an, a good period. 
Or just say like, okay, look at this period over here. Like this one over here. Can you even see it? Okay, there we go. So look at that period over here on that sheet of paper. It's pretty small when we look at it. So looking at a black hole would just be like looking at that period, except for you are looking at it all the way from the moon. Oh, that's so crazy, isn't it? So exciting. So that'll be like looking at the black hole. We'll be looking at that tiny dot from the moon. So how on earth are the scientists going to take a picture of that? Good question. They're not gonna take a picture like it's just like you you go outside at night and then you have like this very expensive telescope that you just bought and then with a very expensive camera and then put aim the camera at the at the eyepiece. I mean put the camera piece on and put the camera on the piece and then just like snap a photo, point it at the black hole, and there you have the photo. It's not like that. It's gonna be like a network of telescopes that are gonna be around all everywhere around the world. I think it is it like twenty? I'm I don't know, I'm not I'm not really sure. But it's going to be many telescopes around the world. They're going to aim at the same black hole, and one's going to be in the Milky Way. One's not going to be in the Milky Way because the the black hole in the center of the Milky Way is actually like super. It's going to be like super dim that we can barely. It's going to be pretty hard to see. So they're going to also aim at another black hole that is not in the Milky Way, and um. Yeah, so. So that's how they're going to do it. And then it's not gonna be take it's not gonna be like snap a photo. It's gonna be like they're gonna like observe the radiation of the black hole in I think it's in, in like an interval of ten days. They're gonna be pointing at the black hole and looking at it and then now they finally have the photo. And I am so excited to look at it, so let's get to it. So now I'm gonna go for the black hole photo and I'm gonna screen record so you guys can see my screen at the same time. Just give me a moment, I am going to... I am screen recording. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So now let's look for the black hole photo 2019. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so much clearer than I thought. I thought it would be a lot worse. I thought it would be like, like just literally a few pixels, but this is pretty good actually. Let's go into BBC. This is nice. Sorry, I just need like a moment to like take this in. Oh, so pretty. So yeah, over here it says the first ever picture of a black hole. It's surrounded by a halo of bright gas pulled in by the hole's gravity. So you can see like, like it's dark in the center as we would expect and and then there's like a more a more like brighter part of light and then a dimmer part of light on top but this is like yeah this is great i don't know what to say i'm actually curious like which black hole this one is i think i think this one is the one that is not in the milky way galaxy and yeah, I think they're 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 still gonna like take the one of the Milky Way galaxy, but actually like this this one is I think this one for them I think it's not the one because the one that is not in the Milky Way galaxy is actually easier to take, because the black hole in the center of the Milky Way is like super super dim, so I don't I think the one in the center of the Milky Way they're gonna take like sometime in the future, but but yeah. That's the one, the first ever picture of a black hole. And and just like think about it, this this is like the work of like many, many, like a whole network of telescope around the world taking in ten days and then and then we saw something like this. So this is this is crazy. It is crazy. Okay, I think I think we need to get a room. <laughs> just excuse us as I pause the video. 
So that's all to my black hole video. Oh, actually, before, before I pause this video, there's actually something exciting. Like, another fun fact about a black hole is that if we want to, if we want to make, because a black hole is, is, a black hole forms when a star dies, and then, and then it turns into, like, this very, very, very dense, like, this, like, dense star that, that is just, like, how do I describe it? Okay, maybe I'm terrible at describing it, but anyway, to help you guys understand it, a black hole, like, if we want to make our Earth, because we all gotta have, like, a, a grasp of how big our Earth is, if we want to put our Earth in, into a black hole, like, into a, a gravitational thing that is so strong that light cannot even escape, um, then we can calculate something that's called the, the Schwarzschild radius, and the sort it's actually pretty straightforward to calculate, but I'm just gonna give you guys the answer. The Schwarzschild radius of the Earth is like nine millimeters. Imagine that, like everything around you, like the whole Earth, and then you put that into like a tiny, tiny nine, nine millimeter radius ball. So it's like about, I would say about this big, like a sphere about this big. Isn't that crazy? That would be so fun. Like including us into, on the Earth, into a black hole, maybe about that size. That is so cool, right? And I think the sun is like a lot bigger, but still not big. The sun will be like, how much is the sun? Like two kilometers or, or like just a, like a bit over one mile or something like that. But it's just so interesting. And I think like, if you guys just read more about black holes, like everyone would like fall in love with the idea of a black hole. It's just so satisfying. I find it. But, okay, so that's the end of my video, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And if you guys want more videos about, like, physics or black holes, or if you have any further questions about black holes, uh, please leave a comment below, and I will make more videos about my true love, which is black holes. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video.